da 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 Hi guys, it's me again, and this is another podcast recommendation episode. That's right. I'm going to recommend podcasts for your English listening practice. And the first one that I'm going to recommend, I'm going to recommend right now is June's podcast. Something about June. Something, something, something. Wait, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. That, that wouldn't be professional at all. I, I really shouldn't do that. Instead, I'm, I really am going to recommend a podcast that is outside of the Happy Buddies Cafe Talk universe of stories. And this first podcast is called Culips. And what I like about Culips is it takes a native English speaker and a non-native English speaker. Uh, don't worry, both of their English levels are fluent English. And they have a conversation about very interesting social topics. There are episodes about common phrases, common idioms, common vocabulary, but they also talk about social issues. You know, the differences between things like healthcare in one country and in another country. The things that, are, that they find that are interesting on the internet or things that they find interesting on social media. And within those episodes, they will introduce the terms and the phrases that are commonly used when talking about those things. Why I like this episode is because while it does the usual strategy of getting you to come to their website and pay for a course or pay for some materials. This is basically radio advertising. It's what they need to do to pay for the podcast. But you could go ahead and just skip over those because the main material in the podcast is pretty fun, pretty interesting. And best of all, I think it's more natural. And that's why I recommend Culips, C-U-L-I-P-S. The next podcast I'm going to recommend is called Go Natural English. What I like about this podcast is it doesn't sound professional at all. It is not professional at all. It doesn't sound professional. There's a, a lot of uh, talking mistakes. The microphone and the audio isn't very good, but the material is all natural. It's all there. And it doesn't feel fake when you listen to this episode. It sounds, it really does sound like you are sitting in a classroom and the teacher is giving a lecture on useful English you can use as soon as the lesson finishes. And I really like that about this feel that I get from this podcast. They're also very short and they're full of phrases and expressions that you can pick apart and use to make your own sentences and use right away in a natural way. And something else about this podcast is the way that the podcasts are, are organized, the way that they are arranged in within each episode, and the names of the episodes are very similar to the way you sometimes see in blogs. It has very blog type headlines like seven ways to win at work or five ways to talk about food or three ways to uh, talk about your kitchen, so things like that. And then each episode does exactly that. It gives you phrases and expressions you would use to talk about food or work or the kitchen. It's actually pretty straightforward. And that's what I appreciate about this podcast. Go natural English. That's it for this week. See you next week when I give you something different. Bye-bye now. Oh, by the way, remember, I am not, absolutely not recommending any podcasts that are connected to this Facebook channel at all. I would never, I would never, never do that. No, that would not be professional of me at all.